Juicy here with another Cricket Strength TV episode. I'm going to talk a little bit today about the CNS system. Now the CNS system is almost your master controller for output. And when the CNS system is overloaded, you're going to run into a bit of trouble. Now bowling is a massively powerful thing that we do. And it really affects the CNS system. And then training is the same thing. And what we don't want to do is have a big battle between the two. Because none of them are going to win then. So say you've got your training in one hand and you're bowling in the other and 50-50. So in the winter, your training's probably gonna be a lot more, say 90, 10. And as you go through the winter, getting towards the season, you just pour a little bit back in to the bowling angle. So then you get to maybe after Christmas and it's getting towards 50-50. And as we get towards the season, obviously the bowling comes up a lot more. So we probably get to the season and maybe 75, 25, 80, 20 of bowling to training. Now where we run into trouble is if we try and do too much of both and we start to top right up and go into overflow. And the body's saying, what the hell's happening? Then we start crashing. So it's always a delicate process between the two to try and keep some sort of balance so we're getting your top output as well as getting some good training effects now everyone's going to be different in the amount of overs and their bowling workload so just make sure you get a good split between your training and your bowling to maximize both catch you later